And now for the Net 10 Wireless Halftime Show. The Salt Lake Temple in downtown Salt Lake City, just a half mile away from the Energy Solutions Arena. And we welcome you back into the Energy Solutions Arena for the Net 10 Wireless Halftime Show. I'm James Bates. A few moments from now, we'll reflect on an exciting first half of arena football here. But first, we'll give you a little AFL 101 and take a deeper look today at defensive backs. You hear the saying a lot in sports, you got to have a short memory. A baseball pitcher is a perfect example. He gives up a home run. You got to get back up there, grip that ball, and throw strikes to the next batter. Well, a cornerback, Anthony Heron, in the Arena Football League, a league that averages the offense 52.2 points a game, you're going to get scored on, and you're going to get scored on a lot. you got to forget about it in a hurry. Amnesia is a word that's used quite often in a meeting room for the defensive backs around the AFL because you get scored on so often. You mentioned the scoring average around the Arena Football League. But each individual position, and people don't realize this, have their own responsibilities. Let's take a look. We'll start off talking about the field corner position, and of course he has to be great in coverage, but his main responsibility on many plays is to be physical out in run support. He's the guy that's usually going to be the pistol starter in the secondary. When you see flare passes like this, you have to be able to come up, shed a layer, and make that tackle out in space. Whether it's a toss play, a screen pass, he is counted on to be the force contained man. Now the boundary corner has a slightly different responsibility. He's not normally going to be on the primary receiver, so he can guess more often in coverage. See Travis Coleman here from Orlando does an excellent job flipping his hips and making the play across the field. Now the safety, the middleman. Receivers come at you in high motion. You're usually covering the primary target. You may be in man-to-man. -man. You may be in zone. The receiver's got a four-way go on you, and you have to have that confidence to know that you can anticipate where the ball's going and be willing and able to come up and make the play. As we take it a step further, remember the Jack linebacker, the only linebacker that can, can get in the mix when it comes to coverage. The Mac is not allowed to drop. And, of course, the illegal contact beyond five yards if the quarterback is still in the box. If he gets outside the box, it's fair game for everybody. Now you know a little bit more about the AFL's defensive backs, and no one's half the battle. We'll be right back to Salt Lake after this. <laughs> 